Well, welcome back. And we saw some of those showers earlier today that kind of passed through the Concho Valley. Now we've seen uh, most of those showers begin to fizzle out as we've kind of gone into the overnight hours. So, again, those rain chances kind of dwindling as we've gone again into the overnight hours, but still plenty of rain back off towards the southeast. Uh, that has that possibility of bringing us still something as we go into the rest of tonight and tomorrow. But for the most part, most of that rain stays off towards our southeast. And again, they have seen, again, plenty of heavy rain, especially the Houston area and just to the southwest. So again, uh, that's as this tropical is still the center of circulation lingering off the coast, expecting that to, again, it start to make its recurve back towards the northeast, and that'll be moving off and taking most of that moisture with us and, and that allows it to begin drying out here in the Concho Valley for our local weather as well. We're going to look at the time lapse again. We saw plenty of cloud coverage, some some flashes with the uh, camera itself. But again, pretty nice sunset. It did clear out a little bit as we headed into your in evening hours. And again, it was pretty comfortable temperature wise, well below average, only got up. Uh, into the 80s and barely into the 80s. 71 degrees right now, dew points in the 60s with those northerly winds at about nine miles per hour. So we'll see those winds again begin to die down across the entire Concha Valley tonight. And then we'll see them pick back up again tomorrow, similar to what we saw today as well. Temperatures across the Concho Valley right now, a lot of 70s and some upper 60s, 69 in Mason, 71 in Menard, 70 in El Dorado, 69 in Mertzen. So again, a pretty comfortable night in store if you're going to be out and about at all. And in fact, across the county, we're never, across the state, we've actually kind of caught up. It was much cooler towards the east because of the rain, but since sunset, we've been able to catch up with them getting onto those cooler temperatures. Dropping into the upper 50s tonight, 58 year overnight low, we will hang on to the cloud coverage. That will linger for at least a couple of more days. The rain chances, though, they have diminished. Still hanging on to the chance for a shower or two, but I think we mostly stay dry heading into tonight with another chance early tomorrow morning. Again, as you get out and about for your day, the cloud coverage that lingers tomorrow and that's going to keep us cool. Acts as like a blanket, keeps it, prevents a lot of that sunshine from getting to us. So again, only getting into the lower 80s before we start our warm up heading into the rest of your week. The moisture tracker, kind of taking a look, we'll see this drier air begin to move into our area. That pushes all that moisture off as tropical storm beta moves off towards the northeast and we'll start to see that cloud coverage begin to diminish. Still hanging on the cloud coverage for Monday, Tuesday, that will continue to linger. Again, a shower or two, but as you go through your Tuesday, again, we'll see that cloud coverage uh, rebuild, but by Wednesday, that's when we really start to see things clearing up and drying out, and then again, will allow us to warm up a lot heading into the rest of your week. So your seven day forecast Tuesday again, that's the official start of fall. It'll be September 22nd, still with those 30% chance of rain showers. Again, with the temperatures will begin climbing up, getting into the upper 80s by Thursday, lower 90s by Friday as you head into your weekend, even some mid 90s as you head into uh, Saturday and Sunday. T lows will still be in the mid 60s, but again, that Next cold front comes in on Monday. That brings our temperatures back into the 80s, and it'll get a little bit more fall-like heading into next week.